Hey guys, Josh here from Mobile Tech Videos with a, a short tutorial today. Today we'll be talking about backing up your kernel, flashing a kernel, and restoring a kernel. Uh, we're going to be doing this using an application known as SGS Kernel Flasher. Uh, now you'll recognize the work of this guy is actually the same person that's behind the backlight notification app, also known as BLN Free. Uh, there's a BLN Pro. Uh, and if you feel like donating to this guy, I just recommend that you purchase the BLN Pro. That's the application that with uh, that actually allows these uh, bottom row buttons to be a backlight notification system that this phone actually lacks out of the box. So with the correct kernel support, that's a really cool app to check out as well. Uh, it's provided to us by the author, which is Neldar. Uh, you can see a couple of his other applications if you choose the View More Apps button. And we can see that he's behind all the BLN control apps, as well as SGS Kernel Flasher. So you need to go ahead and search for SGS Kernel Flasher. Go ahead and download it. You can see tons of great reviews. Everything looks good for this. And you want to open the app up. Uh, we, and say allow, this will require root access. Uh, so be sure that you've rooted your phone. If you haven't, check out my video on how to root Android 2.1 or 2.2. .2. Uh, one thing we want to check first to establish, this is Perception Build 10. Uh, it's not 10.1, but it is 10, so it's running the Firebird kernel. So if we go into the About phone, we can verify that we are running uh, Firebird number 32 right there. So we can see that. So we'll go back into the SGS app. And what we're, gonna about, what we're about to do is we're going to flash uh, Glitter Boss kernel for Perception. And uh, what we want to do now, in case we knew that we were going to have trouble finding the kernel to reflash the original, uh, we'd like to back it up. So if you're having an instance that you need to do that, you can actually just choose this little handy button, Backup Kernel. It's going to do the backup. You'll get a log at the bottom exclaiming what it's going to do. And then when all is said and done, you'll get the kernel flashed uh, at the bottom, saved as a zip file. So if we went into uh, My Files, we'd actually see that under the root of the internal SD, SGS kernel flasher, backup, and we'd see that. So for, for easier reference, we're going to just put FB kernel right in front of that. So we'll type in FB. We change that to FB kernel, so we know it's Firebird. Now, using the same application to backup, let's go ahead and choose a kernel. And we'll pick ours, which is in the root. And I believe it's called GB Reorient. This is the Glitter Balls kernel. We'll pick it, and once you've chosen it, you will notice that the Flash Kernel button becomes active, allows you to do it. We'll choose that option. Now the phone's going to do a few steps, and at this time, you do not need to touch any buttons. Uh, I always recommend flashing something like this with above 50% battery life. Um, and it's going to go ahead and reboot the phone. So we're going to allow this to reboot. As you'll know, the Firebird kernel had the Firebird backdrop. We can already see we've got the new Galaxy S GTI 9000 backdrop. That's part of the Glitter Boss kernel. So we can kind of already see that the kernel effect has taken place because we've got a new boot screen. So we're going to set this phone down, let it boot back up, do its thing, and review some changes and show you how to swap back to the old kernel. All right, we've got the phone back up. We'll unlock, go into the About phone, and verify the changes. When we go into the About phone, we'll go down, and now we've got Iswald at Beer Machine number 7. That is not the Firebird kernel we just had. This indicates that we have flashed the Glitter Balls kernel correctly. Now, say we tested it out, found out that Glitter Balls was great and everything, which it is, uh, and for some odd reason you want to flash back to another kernel, or even the original one. This is where the application becomes extremely handy, because we can simply go in, choose, uh, choose the kernel, go to the backup folder, and there we got our FB kernel that we have already backed up. So let's go ahead and do that one. And now we can flash the kernel. Same situation. It's going to flash, you'll get this screen, and the system is going to reboot in moments. So when it reboots, we should already see the Firebird backdrop indicating that we've just flashed the kernel. Uh, it really doesn't get much easier than that. There it is. So we're going to allow the phone to boot back up, review changes one more time, and we'll close out with a few recaps of what we've done today. Okay, so after the Firebird reflash, we can go into our settings about phone. And there we are, Firebird 32, back to square one. 
Uh, so this has been a tutorial on FGS kernel flasher to back up, restore, and reflash kernels. It's absolutely phenomenal. I have found that these zip files that it creates don't seem to be clockwork mod, clockwork mod flashable. So you'll have to use this program. Um, I'm not sure if they're working on a fix for those to be uh, interusable. But uh, I did notice that I, I wasn't able to flash it with a clockwork mod. So I don't know if that's by design or not. It'd be nice to flash with a clockwork mod. Uh, simply because you can do that from a recovery standpoint. To where if you can't get in the ROM, you're not so much out of luck. But... This is especially handy when you want to back up a kernel before you flash to uh, another kernel for overclocking purposes or stability purposes, and you're not sure if you can find uh, the kernel file on XDA or the net to get back to the original kernel for the ROM that you're on. Um, I'm also going to be uh, seeing if I can extract the actual original kernel off of uh, the JH6 or the... Uh, the, I mean, sorry, the JH7 or JF6 kernels. Uh, I've got a couple phones coming in, RMA from Samsung. And I want to see if I can extract that uh, and see if we can create an original uh, kernel availability source uh, versus the Odin Click. Yeah, it gets you back to stock, but it's got that odd JTEC Lee for the kernel build, and a lot of people are worrying about that uh, when it comes to returning phones. So I'm going to see if I can produce maybe... Um, Maybe a kernel for you guys to flash that's the true stock kernel with the stock build info. Uh, for all I know, that is the stock build info. I haven't actually, I, I, you know, before I got into this, I forgot to look and see what the build version was on a, a truly out-of-the-box Captivate. But uh, I'll get back to you guys with that, and I'll put it on the website, the downloads page, and I'll make note of that in this video uh, once I've done that later this week. So that's kernel flashing with a simple application. Uh, we appreciate Neldar and other developers like him. Uh, check out XDA Developers for more information or mobiletechvideos.com for the latest news and info on the site. We appreciate you for viewing. Please check out some other uh, movies in the channel. Uh, your views are very much appreciated. Subscribe if you enjoy the constantly updated content. And as always, good luck.